Hello, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use the chain rule to differentiate. So we use the chain rule if we have what's called a composite function, which is just a function inside of another function. And so this might look something like this, where we've got y equals f of g of x, like this. And so if you want a real example, like in terms of like more mathy stuff, that might be something that looks like this, y equals e to the power of 4x squared plus x, okay? So we could have that the f of x is equal to e to the x and our g of x is equal to 4x squared plus x and so this will tell us how to take the derivative of something that looks like that and it's pretty easy to do the way it works is we say okay let u equal the function g of x so we say that u is equal to g of x and then we get that y is equal to f of u because u is just g of x so we get that y is equal to f of u like that and so if we want dy by dx, so we want to find the derivative of y with respect to x, the chain rule says that that is equal to the derivative of u with respect to x, so du by dx, and then we multiply that by the derivative of y with respect to u, so dy by du. Now it almost looks like the du's cancel out, and if that helps you remember it, for sure do that. But the actual maths is to but like behind what's happening isn't that. Um, there's some good other videos on YouTube that might explain it, but the real maths behind it is a bit beyond what we need to know for A-level, so don't stress it too much. But if you are interested, I'll link below a good video that I think explains it quite well. So this is the chain rule, right? I've rewritten it in this nice red box. It says y equals f of u, and if u equals g of x, then the dy by dx is equal to dy by du multiplied by du by dx pretty easy but let's look at it in as an example because that will help us make more sense of it so we will need to find the derivative for y equals 1 over the square root of 2x squared plus 1 now I think the hardest part about doing the chain rule is spotting the substitution that we're gonna have for you in this example here okay we're gonna say let u equal the 2x squared plus 1 so u is gonna equal 2x squared plus 1 because if I do that y is going to be equal to 1 over the square root of u, okay? And they're both quite nice things to each differentiate. And we can actually rewrite this as u to the power of a negative half, because that makes it even easier to differentiate. So let's calculate the derivative of u and with respect to x, and then the derivative of y with respect to u. So we're going to get that du by dx, well that's going to equal just 4x, and then when we're differentiating y with respect to u, it works the same way as when we're differentiating something with respect to x, it's just rather than x, it's a u. So this is gonna be, well, times by the power and take one off the power. And so we get this, which we could probably sort of simplify, but I'll do it a bit later. So we want dy by dx, and I find that by multiplying these two things together. So we get dy by dx is equal to four x multiplied by negative one half u to the negative three over two like this. And so you can see that I'm going to be multiplying, well, if we focus on these numbers first, one half multiplied by four, this is going to cancel and leave me with two x. So let's write that. So we're going to get two x multiplied by negative and u to the negative three over two. Well, that's the same as one over u to the three over two. And so we can then say that this is equal to negative two x over u to the three over two. But we've got our derivative in terms of x and u, but we want it just in terms of x. And the way we can sort that out is, well, if we look up here, we wrote that u is equal to 2x squared plus one. So I'm just gonna substitute that back in. So we're gonna get that this is equal to negative 2x over 2x squared plus one to the power of three over two. And this would be our derivative dy by dx. And I guess if you really wanted to, you could write it like this. So 2x over the square root of 2x squared plus one, and that's all cubed. So there you go. So that's how we can use the chain rule to differentiate. Hopefully that was useful. If it was, uh, go over to my channel, subscribe, like this video, let me know what other videos you want me to make, and thanks for watching.